my ambitions in Los Angeles are the world. My my ambitions are world domination. You know, <laughs> I have real little ambition. My I have small small ambitions. <laughs> um, basically, I believe that we're under siege by um, these the food companies and um, er, and big ag. Um, in areas like where I live in South Central, you know, basically we were being terrorized and occupied by uh, by these companies, and I want to change that. Um, and mm -hmm. one one way I believe to do that is to have people get back to the process of growing your own food and getting in touch with the land, touching the soil, um, and designing your own life. We have children that. They have no idea how to dream. They don't. They don't know what a, that a dream is infinite and and just jimongous because they've been so suppressed. And um, so a lot of times, you have people that if they haven't seen it, they can't dream it. You know. So we have to give them something that they can see. You know. Um, and a lot of people, oh, you're giving them hope. I'm like, no, I'm not giving nobody hope. You can't do shit with hope. You know, what are you going to do with hope, really? But sit around and hope something happens. No, I want to give them opportunity. That's what we do. We're giving them opportunity to see that there is a, another life that you can lead. You can pave your own roads. You know, you can paint your own pictures. You can direct your own movies and live them the way you want to live them. So it's basically, that's the, the bottom line is what I'm trying to do is keep a lot of these kids out of the just us system you know, the prison industrial complex, and also bring health into communities where there is none. We have, we have communities that across America, and now that I'm traveling across the world, I see that there's, you have no access to healthy food whatsoever. And, and that's just, that's criminal to me, you know. Urban farming makes a difference because it puts them back into soil and they know where life comes from. You know, we, we have, you have food that tells you when it's ready. Like carrots and beets and rat, they come out of the ground. After you plant them, say, hey, it's called shouldering. I'm ready for you to eat me. Um, and then they seed and give you more food. Kids don't notice anymore. They're just used to going to a drive through window and ordering a... Um, a supersized number two with a you know a diet drink, um, and that they think that's where food comes out of a out of a window. It doesn't come out of the soil, and we need to change that mentality. We need to let them realize where real food comes from. You know, and I'm not trying to get everybody to be a, a gardener or urban gardener, but um, at least know where it comes from because. To me, the lessons are in the soil. You know, all the life lessons are in that soil. The fact that you put a seed, a little teeny seed in the ground, and all of a sudden you have a 300 foot tree. You have food that you can eat. You're creating an ecosystem. You know, you have all of a sudden you, you plant food, you plant plants, flowers, and you, you have birds, bees, hum, hummingbirds, pollinators, that just, that just come. You know, so in some of these areas, there's just no green space at all. So you don't get to see butterflies. You don't, you don't get to see hummingbirds. You know, you don't get to be in touch with nature. We are nature. It changes the way they look. It changes the way they look at life. Um, it, it, it lets, with me, it lets me know that we are all connected, you know. Um, we have this symbiosis that we all share. It's like plants. Um, what I've noticed is you become a steward for the planet. I mean, and right now we need to heal Mother Nature. We, when we heal Mother Nature, we heal ourselves. You know, and um, like with compost. Compost changed my life in a sense. It made me realize that nothing ever dies, ever. You know, um, it's just an energy transfer. It's like we turn to soil, we turn to dust. It's a leaf does the same thing, you know. Uh, we're all connected. We're breathing the same air, we're drinking the same water. You have to balance it because I'm affecting more people talking than I am being in a garden somewhere. You know what I'm. You know what I'm saying. So with media. 
you have to it has to be a balance whereas I'm not here to put a garden in for you you do it yourself I think we've created a society where people are used to things getting done for them and then the thing my whole thing is do it yourself your health is your responsibility your life is your responsibility it's not your mama it's your baby daddy it's not your grandma it's not the government's you we've already shown they've all we've already found out that the government sometimes don't have our best interests at hand if they did some of these laws that are passed especially with food especially with the ingredients in food they wouldn't be passed you know everybody everybody knows somebody with some form of cancer everybody and some people know multiple people with some form of cancer some um, debilitating um, disease that to me is caused by um, the environment and food you know I don't need my my food sprayed with pesticides and you know injected with hormones and everything else I want it like nature intended it I want to inspire people to do it. I'm not doing it for you. And that's what's happening. I got kids all, I mean, I got kids in India calling themselves gangster gardeners now, you know, because they saw my TED talk. And they're recruiting other gangsters from around the, their, their neighborhoods to start growing food. And my whole thing is to flip what a gangster is in our system. No, if you're taking care of, of your neighborhood, that's gangster. If you if you're feeding yourself, that's gangster. If you're uh, living sustainably, that's gangster to me. If you're a gardener, that's gangster. You know, because you you you're taking a responsibility. An innovation. Uh, well, the, the the first thing that came to my mind is it's it's not one. Well, world peace with that would be world health. You know, where everybody, everybody has a chance at brilliance. Everybody should let their brilliance, get a chance to let their brilliance be shown. No matter where you're from and no matter what color you are, no matter, you know, religion, everything. You, everybody should be able to, to let their brilliance be out there and everybody see it. So that's, that's, that's what I want to happen. It's all, to me it's all art. Everything is art. Everything. It's art, and that's what I tr that's what I use my garden as. My garden is my graffiti. It's on the street. That's my street art. You know? So everybody just need to go plant some shit. It's that simple. <laughs>